We, uh -huh. We've saved our main bar from the back. We've saved actually uh, a truckload of memorabilia that we've gotten cleaned up. For Joe Gilchrist, dodging the occasional hurricane is nothing new. For one thing, you know, we've been, I've been uh, affected by about four storms now, and, and uh, this might be a good time to think about the future. Gilchrist and his staff had to clean up truckloads of sand. Take a look at the Floribama today and check out what it looked like the day after Ivan. Now this ceiling would Very normally be where? About we're four foot down. Roughly half the place survived. The oyster bar and the elevated lotto room added a few years ago. In spite of the appearance that we might project, all this is over-engineered, well-built, um, because the last thing I wanted was to have some part of my place fall down or anything. A tougher Florida state code almost certainly will require Gilchrist to elevate the rest of the bar when he rebuilds. But he promises the Floribama will have the same personality, what he calls the same delightfully tacky appearance. I, I can guarantee it won't be a pink building with a, with a with a you know purple roof or anything like that. It will be the floor band. That's exactly right. They'll keep the memorabilia, the pictures on the walls, even the walls. They'll salvage the wood. In the case of so many of these things, people have put their their uh, names and stuff on on the walls in different areas, and we would try to rescue all that that we possibly can. We're trying to figure out how to not lose our marketing touch. <laughs> you want to be new, but you don't want to look new. That's right. Those walls contain many a memory for beachgoers. Gilchrist says he feels a social responsibility to rebuild. Uh, but no question in your mind, Joe, that you're coming back. No. This is the horse that brought me to the, to the dance. They'll have to wait a little while to dance again at the Floribama.